Hi guys and uh, welcome to a um, ball drop video. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at um, dropping one kind of ball from different drop heights to look at the rebound height um, from the various heights. Now in this video I am going to go ahead and do two different ball types. Um, that way if you need to also compare the balls to each other um, although there are a lot of videos that do do that, compare different balls together, um, I wasn't able to find one that had the same ball going from various heights. Um, so what I am going to do though is, and hopefully you can see this well, um, I'm going to go ahead and get this chart that has, uh, again, the drop height. It is going to have the rebound heights for both the tennis ball and the ping pong ball. Um, so you can use either, you can use both, um, that way you can use this kind of for various things. Um, <clears throat> so the tricky part of this, of course, as always, um, when you're doing it by yourself is to, um, have to take a look at where it rebounds. It happens very quickly. Um, so of course we're not going to take super accurate measurements here. Um, I have an actual yardstick instead of a meter stick. So, um, maybe when you saw my chart, I went in increments of 25 centimeters, except for the end, because a yardstick is of course a little bit shorter than a meter stick. Um, a meter is a little longer than three feet. Um, so this yardstick goes a little bit above 91 centimeters. Um, so what I did was I just altered that last one to be 90 centimeters instead of 100, like for a meter. So you just gotta work with whatever you've got at home. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with the tennis ball. So what we're gonna do is take this, and again, you gotta make sure you've got the inches side and the centimeter side. Um, so often when we're working in science, we wanna work with the metric system. So I'm gonna be working off the centimeter side. And so I've got 25 centimeters is, is here. So I'm gonna to try to keep that um, yardstick uh, up flat against the wall there. So I'm going to take this tennis ball, the 25, and I'm gonna watch where it um, jumps back up. So when we look at this, the other thing that you need to do, and again, this is very fast motion here, is you have to decide are you looking from the bottom of the ball, about the middle of the ball, the top of the ball? Where are you looking for that height? So if I'm looking at 25 centimeters from the top of the ball, I'm gonna drop it here, but I'm gonna to try to look at where the top of the ball is there. If I'm dropping it from the bottom of the ball, I'm gonna look from the bottom of the ball here. Now, again, this is very quick motion here, but for me, I'm gonna to try to look from the bottom of the ball. That just makes a little more sense to me when I'm looking at my height, otherwise that takes off from it. So I'm gonna try my best to look. I'm pulling it out from the wall just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna do that again. And so sometimes that's what happens. You gotta do things a few times to kind of get comfortable with it. So I'm gonna do that again. So as you see, it's not even going quite halfway. All right, so doing that a few times, and maybe what we should do is slow it down in the video. And so you might actually see that better than me. So I may come back to this and, uh, and edit that. But my tennis ball with my eyes that I saw went 14 centimeters when I dropped it from 25, okay? So I can do that a few times and kind of see if that's where I'm seeing it go every time. Another thing that's good for this that you may have seen in videos is to do multiple trials of that. So although I'm not really writing down the multiple trials, I could do three or four from 25 and then three or four from 50. Now what I'm just doing with this, since it's, it's a little bit quantitative with our numbers here, but it's a little qualitative as well, is I'm just trying to look at about where my ball lands, the bottom of it, each time. So again, I'm approximating here, so I did it a few times just to see. So now I'm gonna go from 50. So I'm gonna take it out from 50. All right, and like I said, I'm just gonna do this a few times, to kind of get my, my eyeball on where it is looking like it's at about 25 or 26. I'm gonna go with 25. Okay, so going from 75 up here, okay. Okay, let's see here. Oh, that one looks like it's over 40. I'm just gonna do it again. Oh, definitely. Oops. Try that one more time. All right, definitely look like it's about 42. And again, you guys can slow this down and feel free to take your own data um, with this. Um, obviously, I'm not slowing it down to look at it right now. <clears throat> so 90. Okay, Oop. bottom of the ball here. All right, we look like we're at about 
53 maybe. All right. And again, I will show you my numbers um, in a moment. So if you want mine, uh, I will go over those with you um, as I go. So now I'm going to do a ping pong ball. You'll notice it's painted like a soccer ball. Uh, one of my kids' favorite sports. So I thought that would be uh, fitting. Anyway, same idea here, ping pong ball. All right, so if I'm going from the bottom, this one goes a little higher. So that could be something as a comparison if you're looking at that. This one looks like it goes about 18 centimeters when I drop it from 25. So now I'm gonna drop it from 50. Okay. Whoops, messed that one up, no worries. The nice thing about science, you can do it over and over and over again. I got about 32 centimeters on that guy, I think. 75. And I didn't eyeball that one very well. Looks like maybe about 48. Oh, that was definitely about 50. All right, and the last one here, just so we can get our data and not watch too long of a video. Okay. All right, so like I said, you are more than welcome to take some better uh, data than what I have by slowing down this video. I would actually encourage it. But here's an example of a data chart that you could do. So I have the initial drop height, um, and then I have the rebound height for the tennis ball. Again, you can use mine or slow down the video and take those. Um, and then here are the drop heights for the ping pong ball. You can compare those together, or you can compare the drop heights um, together. And again, like I said, I encourage you to slow that video down. My numbers are very approximate just doing my eyeballs here. So, um, you know, feel free to also, you know, let me know if uh, my numbers are really way off. Okay. So hopefully this video will help.